Hey everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Regal's Rundown. I'm Zach Greenberg, your host, and I'm here with men's basketball player Chase Knickerbocker. So Chase, you guys have uh, Minnesota State coming in this weekend as well as Concordia St. Paul. So what have you guys going to do throughout the week to prepare for those games? You know, we've had a couple tough weekends lately, a um, couple close games, and we've missed a couple possessions here and there that we could have improved on that maybe put a put us in a little bit more in the game, so give us a lot more opportunities. So we're kind of focusing on improving personally before we start worrying about um, other teams. And as far as as far as practice goes, throughout the week, you do you game plan for one specific team first, or do you kind of just go both at once? How does it really work? Um, we like to focus on you know uh, the first team right away, and then you know we got to take care of business first, and then uh, before we worry about the next team. So. All right, well, so you're part of a, a very young group on this men's basketball team. I believe 11 of the 14 of you guys are under underclassmen. So what does it really mean for you guys to be the foundations of this program and you being on the ground level of it? How, how did you expect to see the program going forward? You know, it's been really interesting um, kind of getting here and being with a lot of younger guys. We have had some leadership with DJ last year and, um, you know, Riley and Exus here where we still have that leadership with us young guys. But, you know, we've had to take a lot of self-responsibility like, um, self at the same time and kind of try to be older than our age, even though, you know, it doesn't always work out like that. We have, we have times where we show our, that we're young, but, I mean, we're definitely taking steps in the right direction. And with anything, it just experience is, is what'll what is what it'll probably take to get you guys to where you want to be. Because we see that every game, you guys are just getting better and better compared to last year. And you know, you're in the mall. And just what do you think it's going to take you guys to get over that hump and continue on your path to be to building this program and being this successful team that you guys want to be? You know, we really started playing together very well, especially on the offensive end, but I think we still have some work to do on the defensive end. Um, you know, trusting in each other, trusting like when one guy gets beat that the next guy's going to step in and, you know, they're taking a charge or just being there for the gap. So I think that's kind of the next step. We need to keep showing up on the defensive end and then, you know, I think we'll have a lot more positive results than we're seeing. So Chase, we're in your sophomore year now for the men's basketball team. What have you taken from your freshman season that has really helped you become the player that you are today, here and now? You know, a lot of last year was there's a lot of learning going on, especially like what you said with the young guys and 11 of us, I think, is what you said. And you know, a lot of it was getting stronger over the off season, and you know, working on our game and what we learned last year. And you know, it's a lot harder from high school to college getting in the lane. There's a lot bigger guys. You're dealing with 22 and 23 year olds rather than you know teenage kids. So. It's, it was a lot of getting stronger and then figuring out like what you can do and like how what your strengths are and you really just need to stick to your strengths in the league and uh, try to work on like what your weaknesses are and that's kind of what I focused on over the off season which helped me this year. All right, well now it's time for the random question of the day and today we have two random questions. It's a it's a lucky day for us here at Regal's Rundown. Um, so Chase, the first my first question for you is, who is your pick to win the Super Bowl? You know, I'm kind of, a, kind of a bandwagon Patriots fan at this point just because I like Tom Brady. So, <laughs> you know, really, if the Packers would have made it, it just would have been whoever the Packers are playing. But <laughs> at this point, I guess I'll go with the Patriots. <laughs> hey, I guess I got to respect that. But it would have been nice to see the Packers in there. <laughs> and also, um, the second question comes from one of your teammates, and it's what is your favorite vacation destination in the off season? Um, you know, we actually have some family in Florida, in uh, like uh, the Space Coast and Port Canaveral down there. So we go down there like quite a bit every other year, I'd say. So I really enjoy it down there, just kind of getting away from the crooks and weather. So. <laughs> right. Well, there you have it, everyone. This has been Chase Knickerbocker from the UMC men's basketball team, and I'm Zach Greenberg. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. You could catch the men's basketball team play against Minnesota State Mankato this Friday and Concordia St. Paul on Saturday. Thanks, everyone, for watching.